You're listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3show.com. Hey, yo, what is, what is this crazy right here? Hey, yo, ask you crazy for this one. Hey, this is Quayle. This is me, Jamie Carlos. Go for it. You are from Kingston, Jamaica. And you are listening to my boy, Red, with the RH3 show. And you are listening to the RH3 show. Keep it locked. Yo. Yo. Yeah. I know I got a rhythm now. Rhythm, but I think Marley will switch. Go ahead. Because I know I got to give it up. If anybody wanna to come and play the That that's from sin to the saint As winners we can't Live by the pictures they paint Because they know that all the inner is tame So we must live by our lives know exactly what time it is when i get on this mic so i don't even know why i gotta keep telling you come on <laughs> what's up y'all this your boy red host of the rs3 show thank you all so much for tuning in to today's broadcast y'all i'm geared up and i'm ready not so much but i'm trying to i try to do that between as soon as i step in the building between 5 5 30 ish and try to get my, my 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 myself together y'all come on here i try to get myself together in in um uh you know psych myself up for radio and and because some days i come in here like ah oh, what am i gonna talk to it's my peoples i i gotta you know i gotta have them something tangible you know something to 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 leave off of and and y'all and today is one of those days where i'm like there's a lot going on i need to set set down somewhere set down somewhere so <sighs> breathe in breathe out Let's get it. Come on, y'all. Come on. I'm here for you all. I'm here for you. The Arts We Show, y'all, is a place, is a time, is a a a a broadcast to where, you know, it's it's for y'all. It is for y'all. It's for y'all. So if you're listening in your car, if you're listening at home with your families, if you're listening in the hospital, if you're listening elsewhere, this is you, you are in the right area. You're in the right area because I'm here to help cultivate you all and help you push to greater all right push to greater and you know and and i'm not here y'all know for one the vein which i speak in y'all know the platform that i I stand on y'all know the grounds that i stand on y'all know the the foundation that i stand on so don't i don't need i don't need to keep on and let y'all know but y'all gonna y'all will know when y'all hear me speak y'all will know when y'all hear this broadcast on oh this is a this is a great man of god he do this you know he do that he talk about this he has such respect for you know women he has such respect for for uh, you know grown men that's doing right he got such respect for young the young people that's doing right it th- this is it this show is the show that you need so with that being said, continue to support me if you can. If you want to make a financial contribution, please do so. I, I have the cash app. You can do the money sign, RH3 show. Um, if PayPal, use my email, rh3show at gmail.com. Whatever. I'm, I'm here to, to support you all. And if you want to support me, financially that's the way um you can also send me a check email me or, or mail me um um say i want your mailing address for um you know to send a financial donation or whatever rh 3 show at gmail.com that's the email and um you know hey we'll the, may the lord god come on here bless you real good um and what else? What else do I have for you before I go? y'all? I'll continue my speaking, or shall I just continue on? You know, because sometimes whenever I, you know, switch, go for break the break. If I'm if it's not in my notes or my show sequence, I'm gonna 
forget. But um, tr- I'm gonna just continue on today, and we're gonna roll with it. However, whatever, I'll let y'all know what I got going on in a few minutes. But um, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that. I mean, eh, look. Hey, the Irish Three Show, y'all, is trying to go somewhere, and I need your support. And so, hey, this is my basically my first time doing making this appeal. Um, you know. Lift wise on air, um, but I y'all hear my commercial and I gotta shorten that down some because I really cringe when I hear that because it's very long, very long, and it shouldn't have been no more than about 30 45 seconds, no more than a minute and 30. But you know, hey, it is what it is, but um, yeah, so if you can, hey, hey, look, I'm trying to go places and share the share the share the broadcast, share my Facebook page. Share the show Instagram page, Instagram.com forward slash the RH3 show, um, or at the RH3 show. And, you know, you can post a picture of my logo or me or, you know, my promo picture or, um, re, re share the, the, the promo video for the week, for promo ad for the week or whatever. And, hey, we'll get that done for you or YouTube, YouTube.com forward slash I rep a savior, I R E P A S A V I O R, and that's all, um, all one word. I rep a savior, and yeah. But um, what we got on the show today? We're gonna keep it rolling because y'all, I uh do want to apologize for one. First off, I'll give you the show secrets and what we got going on. First, I want to apologize for uh Thursday, y'all. When I tell y'all from two weeks ago up until last night I went to bed and it's still going it has been so busy I've been so busy and so we got Tuesday's last Tuesday's show y'all I have not been on air in a week last Tuesday's show you know down packed or whatever and um you know we had my my niece on air and 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 um I had my niece on air and uh you know she was talking about bullying and we try to if you I'm a, you know what I said I was going to repeat this, that broadcast but I don't know if I have time at the end of the show I don't know whatever you know half of the show might be a best up I don't know it just depends on what we got going on or whatever because I have to hurry up and run out of here and I'm late actually uh to my nephew's um uh, flag football game so I, I try to be supportive in the community whether it be my nieces and nephews my son my, my godchildren whoever it I, I try to be supportive of them and so um yeah I try to be supportive of them and so today I'm gonna help and get my stuff done and Nina Taylor you know she's coming in with the inside scoop of the red and this is where we give you our honest our unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news um I do you know I started off with the gospel news and tr- look I do all of it so you know don't get me wrong to say he just do inside scoop news on the secular whatever and he just did he just trying to you know do whatever to to compromise and trying to do this do that in the third to to promote push a show i am but i'm not doing it compromisingly no i'm not i'm i'm you know whatever if i i need to do to get the support of the people and hey this show the platform it started on was world and entertainment news and you know whatever of course it's good to make a change but in that change you don't want to lose your people and so with that being said i give you know hey it's it's just you know news to let you know and say hey this is what's going on this is what the world, you know, the, you know, what's going on in entertainment. Hey, look, some of us go to the movies and want to know what's going on with our favorite actor in that movie, or we just seen that actor in uh, such and such movie, and this is what they got going on now, or what's going on on television. You know, y'all, this is my vein. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, it's just not no talking session and no gab fest or whatever you want to call it. I just love pop culture and love news and all of that and and just to be in the know i be in the know and so that's my duty here um nina taylor she comes in with the uh gospel news with nina 
and you know she she talks about the the what's going on in the gospel industry you know she give you a a uh 365 black history moment or whatever and you know she give you the top albums any kind of charts that was go, is going on and sometimes you know she gives uh top charts of you know television show, whether whatever news she's talking about sometimes she'll um, correlate that with the top chart so if she's talking about the the if she's talking about um uh a, a black entrepreneur top 10 black small businesses in america that's a chart you know she give gospel news or whatever so nina taylor is, is broad y'all y'all check her out check her out here on the rs3 show every tuesday and thursday from 6 to 7 p.m and her also um our, her segment from the show uh also airs periodically throughout my flagship station so whatever but to support and continue to support nina um i don't know if her paypal is is gospel news with nina but please email her and say hey nina i heard you on the rs3 show thank you for you know what you do and your support y'all she's syndicated overseas here in the country throughout the states whatever she is she she's 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 big name, and I'm glad I have a big name here, um, you know, f- for pushing, supporting, and, and, and doing whatever. And with that being said, she has the gospel news with Nina Taylor inside the inside scoop of the red and, um, you know, whatever. And then we got real talk of the red or whatever. And that is, you know, topical, um, grown, uh, grown folk conversations, discussions, be it the topic, um, an ask red letter. I'll try to pull one of those out today. Y'all, I'm all over the place, as you can see. And so I'm going to have to stop talking in a minute. But today we got a special uh, guest with us. He, he, he'll he be on the phone in just a minute with Nina, who is... Um, <laughs> excuse me, y'all. Real. It's real. But um, she's on... Um, he's on... Uh, um, She's on, I'm sorry, she's on satellite with our, um, on the, she's on satellite on the phone with our, um, uh, special guest today, none other than my look like y'all seen it in the pro- promos, uh, my boy Fred Hammond, he's here to talk to us about the festival of praise, texture of a man, um, y'all, whatever, but Nina is going to give us our gospel news for today, inside, for to week, for this week, inside the Inside Scoop of the Red. So coming up is our girl Nina Taylor with this week in gospel news right here on the RS3 show. And I'll try to pull, you know, something for you all. If not, we're going to do the Inside Scoop of the Red, then our guest, and then the Real Talk with the Red discussion. All right? And if we got time for there, I'm going to try to pull something out the bag because, hey... I really have, I should have planned on my vacation last week, but really it wasn't on vacation. I took off of work from my regular um, day weekly job um, outside of radio, um, and I took Friday off to uh, go to South Carolina at Myrtle Beach to, um, you know, support a dear friend, and that was Thir- one reason why I-, I was not on air on Thursday, I was preparing myself to leave. Um, my pastor had to go speak in, in Charlotte, um, and you know it, that t- services started at seven thirty. Then my nephew and them came here while I was gone, and they was here at my house, and uh, got it back home around ten ish or whatever, a little after ten, and um, I-, I had not had not one pair of clothes packed packed and so i did that and then whatever and it was just all over the place and plus prior to all of that i had a doctor's appointment and you know i don't y'all know i don't drive or some of y'all know that i don't drive and so i had to catch the bus and i was early and you know doing a lot of walking and now my foot was swollen and y'all it's been a lot but pray for your boy i and so again like i said coming up is our girl nina taylor with this week in gospel news right here on the rs3 show hey 12 minutes of talk time and introduction or whatever so we getting it going already all right you all be back in a moment it is the rs3 show for more about me or the broadcast visit my website at the rs3 show.com all right and y'all when i come back um part of my inside scoop of red i'll talk continue to talk to you all about um uh my dear past not pastor not not my she I'll talk to y'all about her in a minute. Coming up next with the Inside Scoop of the Red. Be back in a moment. You're listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3 show.com. 
Are you looking for an experienced and passionate video production company that values your time and resources? Then look no further. 1301 Productions specializes in creative promotional concepts that promote your product, brand, or service. Our main goal is that we can help you reach your existing clients as well as potential clients successfully. Call today to set up your free estimate, 1301 Productions, creative concepts for creative clients. For more information about 1301 Productions, give them a call at 424-835-1301. Just like my theme song says, praise him because he caused you to switch. Every day here on the RSP Show is a praise party. Just like Tuesday, gospel recording artist and my lookalike, my boy Fred Hammond is here to talk about the Festival of Praise. And also on Thursday, we got another Real Talk with the Red discussion and the Gospel News with Nina Taylor as well as the Inside Scoop of the Red. Come on, y'all. It's a praise party this week here on RH3. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at therh3show.com. Switch my old status, that's from sin to the saint. As when as we can't live by the picture they paint. Because they know that all the inner retain, so we must... You're listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3show.com. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Want the latest news regarding the TV, movies, sports, politics, and music industry? It is time for the Inside Scoop of the Red right here on the RH3 show. Hi, I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your gospel news. One of the most popular gospel choirs of the 1990s, Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers managed to make waves similar to a handful of other Christian acts during that decade, comprised of Lawrence plus 34 members from the Tri-Cities of Spartanburg, South Carolina, plus Gastonia and Charlotte, North Carolina. The choir debuted in 1993 with their album, A Songwriter's Point of View. Bible stories follow in 1995, and the choir released a holiday LP entitled Hello Christmas in 1997. Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers signed to EMI in 2000, releasing their third album, TriCity4.com. Go Get Your Life Back followed in 2002. Restoring the Years, the Greatest Hits album, appeared in 2003. The next year saw the release of Lawrence's first solo album, I Speak Life. The Tri-City Singers announced the group was calling it quits in the spring of 2006 and recorded their last concert album which was released that same year finale act one and finale act two Lawrence's second solo album the law of confession part one arrived in february of 2009 with the second part rumored to be on the horizon lawrence's next release however was entitled ym your righteous mind which came out in 2011 he received his bfa in music at the cincinnati conservatory of music he was nominated for a grammy award for the song the blessing of abraham with the tri-city singer He grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, where he was the minister of music at the Southern Baptist Church. Kafia Rollerson, a Philadelphia native, started singing at the age of two. She's the daughter of Bishop Keith and Lady Cheryl Rollerson. Over the past few years, Kafia has seen great success as a solo artist. She released an EP entitled Don't Box Me In. She was also a finalist on VET's hit show Sunday Best. She made it to the top two and was the season six runner up. Did you know that one third of black men have felony convictions in growth in the U.S. ex-felon and ex-prisoner population from 1948 to 2010? Sarah Shannon and some of her colleagues estimated that one third of black men had a felony conviction in 2010, a significant increase over the past 30 years and far above the rate of white men. 
Again. Published in the Research Demography, the study develops a national and state level estimates for the frequency of both felony convictions and incarceration. The researchers found that the percentage of black men with a felony conviction increased from 13% in 1980 to 33% in 2010, compared to 5% and 13% of all adult men during these periods. They also estimate that the percentage of black men who had experienced imprisonment increased from 6% in 1980 to 15% in 2010. These estimates are the first attempt to provide a state-level demographic information about people with felony convictions in the United States. More than 846,000 black men were incarcerated in 2008. According to the U.S. Bureau of Justice estimates, African Americans make up 13.6% of the U.S. population, but black men reportedly make up 40.2% of all prison inmates. The Wardlaw Brothers are five siblings who use the natural blend of their voices to create a sound that mixes smooth soul and vocal jazz with classic gospel while filled with the power of the Lord's message. Born and raised in Lyons, Georgia, the Wardlaw Brothers are the sons of Reverend Carl Wardlaw Jr. The Wardlaw Brothers are influenced by the Swan Silvertones and the Dixie Hummingbirds along with Take Six. They became involved in the church's music ministry. Then the four brothers, Carl, Mark, Martin Luther, Rodney, and Cornelius Wardlaw recorded their first album in 2000, entitled Putting My Life in Your Hands. In 2004, Only Believe, followed by the 2008 single, All I Need. Then they released God's Been There, including the single We Will Survive, and their interpretation of Lift Every Voice and Sing. Here's your Billboard Top 5 Songs in the Country. Number 5, Jermaine Donald. Ali with Serve. Number four, Jacqueline Carr, You Will Win. Number three, Corinne Hawthorne, Won't He Do It. Number two, B.B. Winans, Down From Number One with He Promised Me. And number one, once again, from Todd Delaney, Your Great Name. That's your Billboard Top 5 Gospel Songs in the Country, your research on incarceration and African-American males, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. What I just told you, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. If I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I said said what I said. You don't like it, it, you don't like it. It's the Real Talk with Red segment, right? here on the Arch 3 show yes we are back and I said what I said and that's how I felt that's how I felt and that <laughs> that is my introduction to the real talk with red discussion and during the real talk with red segment it is like a tree the real t- well this whole broadcast this whole platform the Arch 3 show is whole like a tree but I would say each segment is like a tree because it branches off to different segments and parts and so the inside scoop is red branched off nina taylor with gospel news and um uh um um what's that other segment tell me something good um, that's branched off to the inside scoop with Red, and you know, just a few on that one. But the real talk with Red is branched off with the Ask Red letter, which you can send me a letter at RS3. No, I don't even, you know what? I need to print off my, um, um, <laughs> during my next break, I'm gonna write it on my, um, I'm right on this dry erase board ahead of me and then so I can always remember that email but until I do email me at rh3show at gmail.com and the letters and whatever be read anonymously or whatever but that's branched off with the Real Talk with Red discussion um interviews is branched off through the Real Talk with Red discussion um RH3 Health Minute is branched off through the Real Talk with Red discussion and um what else? It's a few more. It's a lot. Y'all got a lot going on. But anyway, that's what's branched off in um, the Real Talk with Red discussion. Uh, like I said, it's branched off to everything. And so with today, I'm going to be, you know, talking to you all about I'm busy. I have a lot to do. You know, I'm trying to stay professional, but I'm focusing my life on marriage. And so um, that's the topic of today. I'm not saying that I am, but, you know, I kind of am, sort of, somewhat, sort of. But, um, yeah. 
And that's the topic for today for the Real Talk with Red discussion. And we also have a part two of that. A part two of the Real Talk with Red discussion. And that is our interview on today with my boy, Fred Hammond and Nina Taylor. She's on satellite in Ohio. And she is going to be speaking with him on the phone through satellite or whatever. And so we're going to, you know, get with him in just a second because radio is 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 we try to be on time but we also hate things happening so yeah and so today we're going to be like i said i'm gonna give you the actual um the actual um title of it but it is hold on a second um expressing my desire for marriage expressing my desire for marriage and it all is all now this here y'all it is an ask red letter and a topic all into one The letter reads, I'm nearly 26 and pursuing an exciting career, but one that I would be willing to put aside to get married and start a family. It's my ultimate goal to bring God glory, whether married or single. But since I'm single right now, I'm enjoying pursuing a professional goal. However, at times I'm suspicious that my current career focus may be getting in the way of being able to realize my marriage and family and dream. Pause right there. And I'll let y'all know what I'm going to say something. But I want you to remember that because women have it a bit more harder. Well, in this aspect. No, no. I, I, overall, men have it more harder, whether it be you're working on a career or whatever, finding something. But just remember that statement there, because you can, you, you can. It, it, it's a way around that. And so, I'll let y'all know in a minute. But anyway, continue on. Since I've embarked on my professional journey, I've been asked out much less, and my interactions with the guys have turned um, turned much more professional. I find that the young men in my life show a high respect for me and give me support and affirmation in my professional journey, which I'm thankful for, but not much romantic interest. How can I balance professional goals, but also tactfully make it known that I want to be married? Whatever your professional goals are, when you hang out, um, uh, when you hang out with your friends, when you, you know, uh, do whatever let it be known don't you know because i have a friend now um she wears a ring on her ring finger why and she's not even married why does she do that because she said she made a covenant with god and so that's between her and god but i honestly don't think that that was god why is because some guys won't approach you when they see that ring on your finger. I'm one of them. Reason being because I've seen, you know, um, ladies and I be want, would want to talk to her or want to holler, whatever, get a number, whatever. And I see that ring and I'm like, hot dog. And back in my dumb days or whatever, back in my early years, I still would try and still try to, you know not really try to holler but just flirt or whatever playful whatever and could care less if she had a husband boyfriend or whatever hey I'm not married to y'all she's she is and that was my thought my mindset and so now since you you know living um living a Christian life trying to focus on a, a, a dynamic professional career but you also want to tactfully put that you know that you're married. Go out. Hang out with your singles at church. Hang out with friends. More so female friends. But also acknowledge even on social media platforms that you are desiring marriage. But you also have a professional career. If I was to tell you anything about me, I am somewhat restricted due to my and I have a you know I'm be a little transparent for y'all I have a with me having albinism let's say this with me having albinism my vision is not the best my vision is not the best which hinders me from driving that's it it hinders me from driving and so at 
how did I get all on that? <laughs> okay, okay, I know uh, doing a lot of things or whatever, and and you know being you know being busy or whatever. But I try to stay, put my mind on other things to not be, you know, sad and down or whatever. And I'm not gonna use the word depressed because I try to whatever I do, whoever getting whoever I get mad at, whoever get mad at me, I try to not let it get to a depressive state, and that's me. But anyway, sometimes I can get, you know, down or whatever and try to, you know, change it. But with that vision impairment, I try to focus on other things that um, so won't get me down. And so with that being said, I'm, I, I'm, I'm working part time. I, I get on here radio, which is allowing me sitting and, and doing, you know, on the mic and you know I'm trying to write a book and I'm trying to finish school and so all of that is just trying to focus on a good career goal journey or whatever it's, it, as you can see it's busyness and so what I'm trying to say is how can you do all of that Red and, uh, and I'm Somebody I met online asked me that. Look, you got all this, 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 this. And you still focusing on the wife? Yeah, I am. How? <laughs> How? Well, hey, in between time, you know, once I am hanging out with, you know, the singles enrichment group, and I let it be known. You can let it be known to other friends, and then they can say, well, hey, I got a girlfriend that, you know. She's a she's a dynamic girl and she she um is is very headstrong and she's she's in in a, you know working on a great professional career but she's trying to seek marriage she's trying to find somebody don't go out and tell people that you're looking for marriage if friends well you can tell your friends or whatever but just don't go you know telling a random Joe hey I'm such and such looking for marriage you know whatever but if if they come out ask you out do it. Go ahead. Don't turn it down. Do not turn it down. And and make you have to make the whole point of this. What I'm trying to get to is you have to make time. You have to make time for everything that you do. Every single thing that you do, you have to make time. And so um, you have to make time. You have to make time whether you're being busy or not. But how do you tactfully do it? Make time for it. Let your friends know that you're seeking it. Um, and then once they, you know, whatever, they got they got their boyfriend got single friends and, you know, whatever. That's how you do. Just, hey, look, you and your girlfriend and her boyfriend go out on a date. Tell him to bring one of his single homies and y'all, you know, chill and hang out. You know, connect like that. But make your business time your business time and then extra time if you have it or extra time that you set aside, time to have fun. I mean, hey, that's what I try to tell folks. Live in a safe, 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 sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, got Jesus on your side and running for your life. Christian life does not have to be dull and, 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 and dead. Come on here, people. And so, just don't let it be dead. And don't let your professional life get in the way of it. I have a friend of mine. Um, you know, I'm not going to give her name or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, but she works at a um, at a very, 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 very big name corporate office. A very big corporate industry. And she works, you know, I don't know the particular department she works in. What her, her job duties is. Because she's has been, you know, climbing up the, the the professional ladder you know since she's been in that you know with that corporation and so she is a um graduate of a very prestigious college you know she has a lucrative job career um you know she has her own house she's raising a son and she also take time out on the weekend to hang out go on dates i believe and you know this that and the third how do i know like i said she's a good friend of mine and at one point i wanted to holler and you know but hey i guess your boy's not a type but hey it is what it is she's still a great friend and so it is what it is and keep on moving but um 
you know, she's doing the thing. She's doing the daggone thing, you know, about working, take, working a great job, trying to do things in the community. Um, you know, she's part of the, the Chamber of Commerce for Black Professional Leaders, you know, whatever. Um, and she's doing the thing. And, you know, she sets and make time for what she has to do and so you know if she want to go date she's hang out and do whatever and so i say that to you letter writer don't let that your professional goals stop you from going out and then that first date what are you into da 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 have fun then on that second date and i tell folks i personally give myself between three to six months to know where this relationship is going after that six months if i don't know for sure bam i'm out the door and i won't you know do it disrespectfully and i let it be known i won't leave you hanging but i let it be known and so you know i said all that to say is you know hey you don't have time to be wasting on people if you you know hang out do whatever by that second date you end up telling them hey look this is my here is my um you know focus on this relationship i don't know what you have planned for but i said my next one um i'm for focusing and working on being married and um you know i know that's a lot throwing on you but i'm not here to play games with people and i don't know what your grounds are or whatever and i'm not forcing you to you know marry me but I know within six months, I know where I need to be going and where I need to be headed. Bingo. And so by that time, if you're not, you know, and I'm not saying that, like, again, I'm not rushing you or whatever. But even within those six months, even if you don't, y'all, why is y'all calling me while I'm on air? Even if you don't um, propose to me, excuse me, even if you don't propose to me, Within those six months, I need to know that that's where we're going to go or close to it within the next six months. You hear me? You feel me? And so, if I'm, and, and this is, you know, I'm telling you this um, as you being a lady and you can see this or you can try to expect this, you know, in your dating or whatever, by the second or third date, Make sure you letting him know that, look, this is where I want, I'm trying to, you know, get to. I'm not talking about this particular relationship right now because this is like the third date, maybe within the third week because I say within a month, you should have it at least have had no more than two or three days. And so, and so um, by that, by that first month or the month and a half, <clears throat> you probably would have, should have been told him look you know i'm not i don't want to put no pressure on you with grown folks and i'm you know i play you know for so long and i'm done with playing and i always said this is you know this is what i'm i'm working towards during this relationship and that's what i said you know it's kind of hard for men to do that i mean it's kind of hard for women to do that and i'm glad I, I, it all came to me but it, it is hard for women to do that because she has to have you know ladies y'all have to have a set goal and a excuse me a set agenda for your life as well it, you know along with men and and, and y- basically y'all are the main ones really but it's kind of hard for you to let a man know Oh, well, let me back up for, first of all, a boy, because there's different stages um, <coughs> of, of a man. Boy, um, a boy, what is it? Boy, uh, I have it in my book, but um, and I'll tell y'all about my book probably within the next few weeks, but I have it in my book. But anyway, it's different stages, and, in, 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 you know, you're a boy by age, you know, you're a boy by birth, you a man by age and then i think you're a gentleman by choice i think that's that's the three that i have in there but all of us are boys but it depends on your maturity level whether when you get to a man and when you get to a gentleman and then when you get to a shivers gentleman and and that's that and so if you're dealing with a boy now 
then he's not going to understand, you know, when you tell him, okay, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. He's not going to understand that. He's not going to understand. I'm telling you right now, he's not going to understand it. And so, if you're dealing with a man, nine times out of ten, he may understand or he may continue to string you along if you give him too much of yourself or if you give him too much of what you're trying to do because if you do if you give him too much of what you're trying to do he's going to string you along probably into that fifth or up close to that six months and then drop you but you just you you stay focused you don't give stuff out the first date ladies come on you don't give it you know even sexual wise you don't give up your cookies early you don't give up your 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 you don't give up your cookies at all you know whether it be the first date second third fourth or fifth if he's still dating and courting or whatever he's not your husband don't (laughs) i'm serious and this is the real talk of thread and that's why i call it but anyway let me simmer down some but you don't you don't give everything out first hand that's why i said between the second third day and even by that time you don't you just you know by conversation and also just in the back of your mind okay i see where it's going maybe by the fourth or the fifth month fifth month maybe then that's when you let it all out on the table you know really what you're trying to do i would say that and so by the okay here's a timeline first and then i give y'all mine in a minute because I always told y'all that, you know, soon in the future that I'm going to give you my timeline of dating or whatever. And so this is a perfect time. And then we got to go and take a break because John, Mr. Um, I'm about to call him John P. Key. <laughs> uh, my boy Fred Hammond is here. Nina Taylor is there with him on the phone or whatever. And so by the, by the date and ladies, some people always tell you, don't put yourself out there. Don't go out and tell, you know, don't, don't tell, you know, other men that you, 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 um, whatever, let him court you. But if you still sitting around and, and, um, single or whatever, can't find nobody nine times out of 10, you can throw hints, but if he's feeling you, then he'll let you know then and then you back off a bit but ladies some ladies can sit here and and say well it's not a lot of guys around here and a lot of not a guys or whatever but what if they don't see you of course what if they don't see you or what if they don't know you know whatever you you cannot just go hardcore out on and say look hey player partner what's up you want to holler i mean i want to holler at you you know i i i I think you look good or whatever i think you fine or whatever you can't go out and do that you know just throw hands or whatever and and be the girly girl that you are and do what you got to do to 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 tag him and then you know if y'all go out on you know don't ask him out on a date once y'all trying to kick it or whatever then he'll probably say, well, hey, how about you know, hang out, can I get your number or whatever, whatever, whoop the wop Don't ask no man for his number. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Let him ask for yours and then he'll say, well, then we'll say, okay, well, thank you for asking. Can I get yours as well? That's how you tag a man that you want, that you're trying to look for. In my case, at this present time, as I'm talking to you, am I looking for it? semi i have my eyes set on somebody here in my city but you know working on that do i multiple date no am i you know but if i go to that point to where i don't want to holler at her or i'm trying not to do i continue on yes and and i'm in in me what i do you know like i said I, I don't let it out in the bag first and i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and i'm gonna keep, you know close this part of it out then coming up next is nina and uh my boy fred hammond they're gonna be talking about festival of praise and the texture of a man or whatever and his, you know his album but um so hold on keep it where you got it <laughs> um yes i just i don't i don't let it out all in one bag and then i sit back and watch her so and an incident happened probably about a couple months ago probably about the first round the first of the year i would say yes the first of the year 
I was, you know, conversing with somebody and whatever, and I liked her or whatever. And so I just held it back for a little bit. And I'm kind of glad I held it back because it was an embarrassing reason that I did. And I'm not giving you the embarrassing reason or whatever. And just know that it dealt with a 100% woman. If you got in the back of your head that, oh, he thought that that was a woman. It wasn't. No, she was 100% woman. Let me set that out and lay that on the table so you won't be thinking. But anyway, um... And so that was, you know, only about five people know the real reason why I stopped. But, you know, she don't. But and, and the reason why I say she don't is because she didn't at the point she didn't get the vibe of me, you know, wanting to holler at her. I was just, you know, filling out the area. And that only took about three times. And then after that third time, you know, out of the conversation, I found some stuff out and I was like, you know what? Nah. Uh-uh, it has to stop here, and so that's that. But um, yeah, late ladies, and like I said, my timeline. Look, within the first, like the same thing as yours, first few months, filling the room, filling the atmosphere, area, whatever. If I like you, then you know we'll continue on. By that sixth month, I'ma tell you. Look, hey, if I still feel you as a friend, I'ma feel you as a friend. If not. You know, I'm gonna say, hey, I look by that six month date. I'm gonna, you know, that's whenever you gonna really know that I, I, I'm really digging you, and I'll end up telling you. May not propose within that six months, no, but I just, you know, make a big shindu of, you know, letting the world, social media, family, whatever that that you mind. And even not, I'm, I'm not even saying that I won't do that within the first few months, but even with my, you know, second to the last relationship that's what i did and so and and even so you have to watch that because there's people out there praying praying you know praying on your relationship wanting you to do bad and wanting you to do this that and the third and want to see you fail and so you can't throw even throw too much of that out on social media even if you do make sure you cover up her head or make sure you cover up his head or make sure you do whatever and say this or just show hand you know body parts like your hand or or feet or whatever don't 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 just let them see you know him or her and i try to tell my nieces and them out there look don't go putting everything on social media and even with your relationships because people is hating on you but anyway same timeline that i have is what i just told you all of yours by that six months i let you know 12 months between six and eight proposal eight to ten um you know eight to twelve marriage but even so within maybe five to six it could be you know marriage or whatever but lady what i would say to this in the end just 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 go out tell your friends to hey look if your significant other boyfriend you know whatever husband got a you know a good respectful shiver uh, i'm not really too much well shiverous gentleman then hey introduce him and so let's all go out that's that and that's how you do it all right all right sorry y'all sorry about that y'all i've been rambling for going on 27 minutes and coming up is the interview that we've been i've been waiting on my boy fred hammond is here on the rs3 show be back in a minute all right come on here fred come on <laughs> you're listening to a best of broadcast of the rh3 show for more about the broadcast please visit the rh3show.com What's so special about the RH3 show is that you get me two times a week. Two times of the Inside Scoop with Red, two times of the Real Talk with Red, and also two times of the Gospel News with Nina Taylor. So join me every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For more about me or the broadcast, visit my website at therh3show.com. That that's from sin of the saint As winners we can't Live by the picture they paint Because they know that all the inner is tame So we must live out our lives with a sense of Hi everybody, it's Nina Taylor And on the telephone, I've got one of our favorites here In Ohio and around the world The legendary Fred Hammond He is currently touring with the biggest gospel concert there is Festival of Praise How you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? 
I'm good. Well, first, I want to go back just a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about you, your start in the gospel industry, a little bit. Touch on what's going on with Commission and then what's happening now with the new album and the tour. Not really sure what's going on with Commission. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so I can't really get too much on it. Okay. I saw a video with you guys just, you know, just recently. You just kind of got together for a day. Well, it was uh, for Michael Brooks' uh, uh, appreciation. Okay. So, you know, yeah, we just to celebrate him. Okay, that sounds awesome. All right, so what's going on with the Festival of Praise? You guys have been touring now for a couple of months. How did you come up with the idea to put together uh, a group of gospel artists and tour around the world? Well, it just, you know, it's pretty much a God idea. You mm-hmm. know, we just got together and talked to people, said what we wanted to kind of do, and uh, we agreed and we wanted to make it different and uh, innovative, and uh, here we are. Well, how does the selection process go with um, picking what artists are going to be on the tour? And I noticed you just, you have all men this year. What's that about? Well, we have all men singing, but we have female actors. Uh huh. Because it's a it's a it's a musical, mm-hmm. and uh, this year we it just worked out that way, you know. And the brothers got together. That's what we talk called it: texture of a man. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so there was no other reason like we're just going to do all male singers this year, or was it just it just kind of happened that way? Kind of happened that way, but uh, you know, either way, you know, it's we we've had some dates with Erica Campbell and mm-hmm. different ones with this one and that one, so mm-hmm. it just worked out. To, Columbus could work out this way. What makes a great gospel artist? Um, a person who can connect, a person who is effective, a person who can take uh, the Word of God and make it relevant to today's time to a lot of different people. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you think uh, social media has affected the gospel industry? I think it's keeping it alive. I mm-hmm. think it's keeping it relevant. You know, I think that's what it's done. You know, it's, uh, it's affected in that way. Other than that, it's like, uh, you know, if, it didn't, if we weren't on social media, you know, I think we'd kind of be in a worse position. Really? So you think it's actually helping? I believe it is. Yeah, it's advertising. It okay. keeps you connected with the people who love you and walk close to you and who you get a chance to bless and who bless you. Okay, I saw, you know, I follow you on all social media. Uh, you were in the studio just recently. Was that making a new album or are you just kind of brainstorming? I've been writing for a while now and I'm about to put out a few songs and, uh, you know, just kind of take it easy. I'm independent now, so, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> okay. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I've, I've just put a few songs together. I'm independent and I'm enjoying it now because I don't, I don't have to worry about, you know, how single sound is, you know, trying to compete. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a lot of artists are going independent now. You think it, it's better just to have the freedom of, you know, just all the way around? You know, what's the pros and cons of it? Well, I know for me, it, it is, you know, I've been in with a record label for over 30 plus years. Mm-hmm. And now I get the chance. I don't have to uh, kind of worry about the status quo and I don't have to be pushed into any kind of sound. You know, I can do exactly what I want to do. I can speak to social consciousness, like I have what's going on on the new boom, uh, rendering I have for a day. And they say, well, why would you do something like that? Well, you know, I'm just kind of repeating what's going on from back in the 60s, you know, police, uh, police brutality mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, black on black crime, and white on white crime, the violence of the day period kids getting shot at school, so I wanted to do something that would, would, would reach the masses so that I can have a chance to talk about it otherwise, you know, uh, so it gives you a freedom, you know, plus I can whatever I wanted. Okay, well that sounds awesome, we can't wait to hear that album, and that one will be ready when? Well, I'm actually getting ready to have a few uh, here at the uh, Festival of Praise that I'm just having, that's called the Collectors Edition, just for people who come to the um, that's for the praise. So, you know, it's all good there. And then we have, you know, uh, it should be coming out pretty soon, pretty much not June, but I'm releasing, you know, small pieces at a time. You know, I may not release a whole album, you know, at one time. I may just do two or three songs. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it gets some radio play cool, you know, get some internet play cool. I'm not even pushing. I'm just, just chilling. And I make the music that I want to make and say what God tells me to say exactly. My last offering was a studio album, and it was a called Worship Journal Live, mm-hmm. and nobody knew about it. Nobody knew about it. It didn't get great radio. It didn't get a couple people here. They're like, wow, this is a great praise and worship record. It well, is? Now I don't have 
have to worry about, you know, whether the radio gets, you know, whether it gets radio play or if they pay the uh, rep to go and pay, I mean, to talk to radio stations and say, hey, would you play Fred Hammond's record, please? Nah, nah, we good. We good. Here you go. I got a little couple statues in my trunk. Hey, you want to buy it? We good. We good. You know, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's like pre-retirement is what I was about to say. Mm-hmm. You're not thinking about retiring anytime soon, are you? Well, as as the effectiveness goes, I mean, you know, and, uh, you know, as long as I'm effective, I'm okay. When it stops being effective, I know that's when it's time to bow out and say thank you, everybody. Thanks for the message. Wow. Well, what is the advice that you could give? You know that every day there's there's new people breaking into the gospel industry. What is your advice for someone new starting out in gospel? Number one, make sure that you're doing it for the right reason and not just be a star. God is not looking for stars. He's looking for people who are willing to be affected, who are willing to take take down and become and uh, those are the ones he's using to lift up. Now, you got to be good at what you do, too. You know, just because you want to sing gospel music, that don't mean you're good at singing. Mm-hmm. These kids out here now that are singing are amazing. Travis Green, Tasha Cobb, you know, and then you have uh, just a, Jonathan McReynolds, man, Jonathan Nelson, you know, all of these people out here now, man, great player. You got the, the, the ones right before that generation, Israel and, and Ty Trivet mm-hmm. and the rest of them. Then you got us old here. So it's a lot out here. So make sure you're good at what you do. Practice your craft. But be willing to go anywhere and sing it anytime. Work social media to your advantage. You know, let people know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just be willing. Well, that is some good word and good advice right there. All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing the Festival of Praise Tour. It's going all over the world. How much longer are you guys on the road? Um, uh, Till about May the 20th. Mm-hmm. Festival plays have been getting better and different, different every year. This one right here is a musical. It starts from beginning to end. It goes from film to drama to a concert to worship to comedy to a film to a play to a comedy to worship to praise. All seamless can go out the whole two and a half hour event. So this is something you may never see again or it could be a game changer. All right, I thank you so much, Fred Hammond, for being on the show today. Thank you so much. Blessings. Thank you. Thanks to my partner, my boy, Fred Hammond, for being on the show. Thank you, Nina. Um, I hope you are well there in Ohio. Thank you so much for that interview. All right? Um, Yeah, like I was saying, I meant to mention y'all. Pastor Jamila Young Mitchell, I think I mentioned her on uh, a couple weeks ago. But um, continue to check her out. Um, CarChronicles.org. Um, go to Facebook and search Jamila Young Mitchell, J A M E L I A H Young, while you in G dash Mitchell. And um, she's the pastor of Unity Church Charlotte. And, um, you know, she's the pastor of and the overseer and the founder of the Car Chronicles movement. Y'all, I watch her. Um, uh, 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 broadcast every morning at 7.30 What? Seriously? Come on here But um <laughs> Yeah check her out And um That's it y'all That's it That's all I got Y'all enjoyed today's broadcast I did I'm exhausted And um Yeah I am Seriously y'all I gotta go Uh I'll go ahead and close out the broadcast now. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com. Check me out every day, y'all, on pl- podcast platforms, Google Play Music, Apple iTunes, uh, Anchor.fm, uh, Radio Public, Overcast, Pocket Cast, um, uh, Spreaker, YouTube, YouTube.com forward slash I Reposave You. I'm all over the place. As you can tell this broadcast. I'm late. I need to go check out my uh, nephew's game. I see y'all on Thursday. We're going to be celebrating moms. So if you will. Um, before I go. Let me give you my number. Um, so you can do a, a shout out to your mother. Shout out to your mother. So please go to. Um, please. I think my. I don't know the direct number. To 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, 704 565 9056. 704 565 9056. Again, for more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at vrstreetshow.com. Check me out every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. on my flagship station or on the podcast platforms. Again, follow me on social media at vrstreetshow.com. That's on Twitter. Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. I right, I'll talk to y'all on Thursday. We celebrate our moms on Thursday because coming up the weekend it is Mother's Day weekend. I right, be back on Thursday, same place, same time. Peace. This has been an encore presentation, a best of broadcast of Arch 3 Productions. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com.